the Rising Sun. Very important game tonight for New Zealand. A big dress rehearsal. Last opportunity before they play the Australians. It is the last opportunity before Australia, and I think they all know that, Terry, and they want to make this one a good one. They also want to make it a good one because it will be a clean sweep of Japan, and I think that that's all on their minds. On the other hand, let's look at it from the Japanese point of view. They've lost two. They want to go home with something in their pockets, and this is their last opportunity to do it. Uh, Yasuda, number 16. The, the, the Japanese bought a party of 13. That's why their numbers go outside the international regulations of 4 to 15. Michael Haring got his own rebound there. Nice touch, Michael Haring. Had a good second test in Nelson. Probably just still a little out of trim match condition, Michael Haring, but certainly made his presence felt. That's Mount Fuji. That's the big fella, Yamasaki, working inside. Interesting. I love watching left-handers play, Tommy, and Yamasaki is a, is a left-hander and uh, the biggest man on the court at Sigma Free International Series. Hurrying again inside. That one's no good. It was on glass. Well, Michael Hurring taking an early dominance inside, and, of course, that's been the key to the New Zealand victories. I guess I understand it's been overpowering Japan on the inside. Japan's game is more of an outside three-point game. That man just saw there, Toshihiro Goto, Number 10 for Japan, he certainly likes to take the ball down the paint. It was clearly evident to Nelson on Tuesday night, and he caused the New Zealand defence some embarrassing times during that game. Watch for him. Goto. Head coach for the New Zealand basketball team, Keith Mayer. You didn't know too much about the Japanese team before they arrived. What are your impressions now after two test matches? Well, they're a team that shoots the ball very well at times, particularly if we don't keep the pressure on them. They showed that in the first test when they came back to one point. The second test, I think our defense was a little better and we stopped them from getting that. They're also reasonably big, which surprised us, uh, although they don't like mixing it up inside too much. What about the New Zealand team? I mean, what's it been like getting them back together to play for the All Blacks? Oh, it's great. There's a great attitude amongst them. Uh, they're, they're a great bunch of guys and they have a lot of pride in playing for New Zealand. Right now, uh, out of the ten, we've got six new players this year from last year, and they've all fitted in very well. All right. What do you hope to achieve in tonight's ball game? obviously with the uh, Olympic qualifying series next week up against uh, Australia? Well, irrespective of the result, we'd like to just see an improvement in our teamwork, particularly on offense, but also on our, our defensive efforts, helping each other out, and that sort of thing. And really, teamwork is the big thing we're, we're looking for an improvement in. OK, thanks for talking to us, Keith, and uh, good luck tonight. Thank you. Well, Keith Mayer, interesting comments that he made about shooters. We'll see Toyama, uh, number 11, in the starting lineup. There he is now. He's their three point specialist. This is 5 1 that missed. There's Yamasaki inside. Good offensive glass to Yamasaki. Keith was quite right, Tom. They don't like to mix it up, and uh, they found out uh, certainly the hard way what it's like to try and box out the guys like Pokai. Uh, the game I saw in Nelson on Thursday night. Well, there's Michael Hurring hitting another one, and of course he and Byron Vitoy have exploded here to give the Kiwis a 13 to 4 lead and looking very good at both ends of the floor, although Glenn Denham picking up his first foul there on Toyama, their leading scorer. Ball from the side. Keith Mayer talking about only four guys that have, have played in, against England last year. But, you know, for the new faces on this team, there goes a big jam for the big contender. Yes, indeed. <laughs> well, I don't know, did they see anything like that in Nelson or Christchurch? I don't think so. Oh, Michael Hurry. Oh, oh, the local boy, John Aidy's in the ball game. Oh, nice little outside Sushimura. field goal from Sushimura. You've been practicing all week. You get hey. that thing <laughs> out pretty well. Oh, for two days, intensive Japanese. And there was Sushimura in there to take the charge, <laughs> looking for a bit of contact. A little bit more focused, I think, and uh, certainly a little bit slower play and more concentrated. And uh, right now, Japan is winning that aspect of the, of the game. 